Muhammad International Airport to restrict access to curbside pickup and drop up. So remember, when we are talking about uh, uh, curbside pickup and drop up, uh, most, of, most of you that have gone to the airport, you know where you have to drop and you have to be picked to the driveway where uh, um, the service taxis have been picking up people and dropping up people. However, according to the Hamad International Airport, it has issued what we call an advisory informing, an advisory informing the passengers and the customers who are starting, uh, that they will be starting, or starting the testing of the concept of limiting the access to what we call the cab, the cab departure and arrival uh, to only what we call authorized vehicles for those people that we were uh, that area that has been used by taxis to pick up for departures and to drop for uh, to pick up uh, uh, to drop for departures and to pick up arrivals is going to be restricted. Uh, starting on the 13th of June, the, the testing is going to be uh, done. Uh, however, for those people that will be definitely be pushed to go to park in what we call the designated what we call car parking areas, uh, waiting areas at this sort. However, when you look at uh, the information that is coming from the general uh, from the Hamad Airport, and I'll just read through what the airport is saying. Actually, he's saying the general public vehicles to use what we call the available car park facilities for passenger pick up and drop off the trials will begin on june 13 2022 at 10 a.m remember during this trial during this trial uh it's 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 actually that there will be a little bit of conveniences created to customers but however Ahmad international airport shall offer what you call a gross period to all those people uh, a period of only 20 minutes without charge to ease passenger drop off a pickup with the what we call a short time a short time car park at however however still for those that uh, those ones the the the, the Ahmad international airport still have to let people or has to let the, the car people the taxi driver the airport taxi driver that payment for short term car, car parking can be made through what you call uh, parking or made through what you call machines located to be before the car park level two and there is no payment options available to the exit of the car park in order to avoid delay. so in charge in case for you to you 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 want to have more extra time uh, to have or to wait for 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 to wait for arrivals uh, as per the latest information Haman international airport is calling out all those people to pay earlier uh, to what you call those machines that are available to the car park other than paying at the exit to avoid what you call delays in one way or the other. Remember, when we are talking about all these latest developments, we can't fail to mention what we call the FIFA World Cup. You know, all these are trials uh, are just specifically done to see how better the, the country is preparing itself for the FIFA World Cup and how it's prepared to host or to, to host the visitors or the guests that will be coming for the FIFA World Cup. Remember, when we are talking about the FIFA World Cup, we are talking about Qatar 2022, a small Gulf country that is hosting the FIFA World Cup of the 32 teams that will be battling for the Champions Prize, which will be the trophy at this time. And uh, remember, as we are according our latest, the latest information, remember we talked about the latest information where the Hamad International Airport, as between the, the mid quarter, is, has almost received more than uh, 7.5, 7.4 million uh, travelers at the end of it all. And remember, uh, as the country, it is expecting over uh, over millions and millions of guests that will be coming, our spectators that will be coming to watch the game in the FIFA World Cup. And these are the latest development and that is taking place, and they're trying to to try to prepare for 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 the period of receiving visas that will be coming to the country. Remember, we have a few months, uh, we have a few months, we almost have five months to, to the FIFA World Cup, which will be starting November 18, 2020, 18, 2022, and until December 18 of this year. So definitely, all these latest will be uh, as per their airport uh, management, they will kind of be causing in, inconvenience in one way or the other, but remember, this is, uh, causing inconvenience to passengers and customers but remember this is uh, uh it is it, it has to be done because it, they will be expecting other changes in one way that for so for those people that are going to go to Hamad international airports uh you just know uh, the drop up the door four point and the uh, pickup for passengers on arrival and departures uh, then uh, will be restricted in a uh, period of, of time they will be restricted and all people will be pushed to go to power to 
to, to, to wait from the car parks of which you have to make payments to the machine for you to wait for that time. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel for us getting the updates. Remember, it's makes from the next question. However, if you are first year not come across this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you always be updated whenever we upload a new video for this case. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.